It was game night. Me and a few friends were in the midst of playing Call of Duty online when the news broke on Twitter. Oh boy, John cried out. What is it, I asked curiously. Well, fellas, it seems the new episode of Game of Thrones has leaked online. And apparently it's up for download. Swear on your mother's life, John. John told me he wasn't lying, and Peter quickly confirmed. He told us he was downloading the file onto his laptop, and it should be done in about 45 seconds. That's pretty quick, I thought. But, lost in excitement, I ignored my curiosity and called for my mother to prepare an assortment of snacks. Me and my friends gathered around the TV. The file finished downloading and Peter clicked play. Hmm, something's not right. The length of the video is only two minutes long. Did you read the comments before downloading, I asked? No. I went through a usual trusted source and I assumed it was safe. Hmm. Well, maybe it's just a trailer or something. The video then cut to a man sitting in a chair. He was naked aside from a dirty pair of gym shorts. Sat beside him was a jar of honey with what looked like a ruler sticking out. He grabbed the stick drenched in honey and began to lather it across his body. The camera slowly zoomed in on his face, which sat a disgruntled and semi-aroused look. The video played through its entirety, and it quickly closed itself after. What the fuck was that, John said. What the fuck did we just watch? Before either Peter or myself could answer, an internet browser opened up by itself. What is going on, Peter said. The page loaded and we were greeted with a live stream with a please stand by disclaimer and a 60 second countdown. We waited, and at about 15 seconds, John, scared, cried out, fuck this shit and close it out. Peter agreed, and he tried, but the X button wasn't working. The live stream then began to play. Hello, gentlemen. Did you like my video? A chat box then appeared aside the video. Don't be shy, the man said. Let me know what you think. I grabbed the laptop from Peter and told the sticky assailant it was subpar at best. I also told him I thought he was an asshole for tricking us and wasting our time. And I kindly told him to fuck off or I would report him to the police. The man told me if I called the police or tried closing the browser again, he would come to my house, hold me down, and cover me in homemade honey. Pete grabbed his laptop back from me and informed the honey-covered scoundrel that he had state-of-the-art VPNs in place and the odds of finding us were less than 4%. The man covered in honey, without hesitation, listed all of my information. He then told me if I wanted to avoid any harm done to my family, I had to do exactly what he said. He then sent me a link to another video and requested a viewing and honest review. The video began to play and on the screen sat a topless woman with a plate of hot wings next to her. The woman began to rub the hot wings on her breast. I didn't know if what I was watching was supposed to be erotic or humorous, but I had enough. I turned off that bullshit midway through and told the honey-drenched bastard I thought it was awful, and I told him he shouldn't quit his day job. The man was furious. He told me he would see me very soon, and then the web browser closed. Luckily unknown to him, Peter's dad worked for the NSA, and after we turned over his laptop to his father, he was easily able to locate the man. Ironically, his name was Ron Snow. 
In Ron Snow's basement, the police found two boys covered in honey who had apparently been held captive for more than a year. Apparently, they came across some of Ron Snow's work online. The hot wing video, I think. Well, I guess he tracked them down through their IP address. And if it wasn't for us, they probably would have died there covered in honey. Our parents tried to keep us sheltered from what happened to Ron Snow. But we found out shortly after. Apparently, he had a really Jewish lawyer who got him off. Nothing more than four years of probation. I always wonder if Ron Snow is looking for me. But if he is, I want him to know that I'm a fucking savage. And I don't play that shit. <laughs>